Oh, no, no, hey, hey, stay right there, hey. Name's Calvin McGinley, the seventh. Please! Yo! Holy I got him! Get the axe! Oh! Let me see. Let me see. How bad, how, how bad is it? Oh, you're like, you're like, you're gonna have to go to the high cock! I need to oh. oh. Yo, what you doing? Looking at all my Tinder matches, bro. Jeff, bro, you're getting matches? Uh, the camera out already? Yeah, Yo, bro. It feels so good taking this. What you doing, Doogie? I'm just pacing, bro. Keep my man Marino. Yo, my wait. How many? How many matches do you actually have? I don't know. How many stitches did Brandon get in his ankle? I don't know. Yeah. So that actually feels so good taking that vest off. No one understands how heavy that thing really is, dude. That thing was like carrying around 50 pounds on me because it has like that plate in it. Oh my god, it was so hot in that thing. He's a little, he's a little, he's a little baby. I'll yeah, bro, I wear weighted vests every, every time I work out. Gave it to him. He said, he said, I know, it's so heavy. Yeah, on a real <laughs> note though, you guys are probably wondering why we're in a hospital parking lot and not in there with Marino. The whole COVID thing going on, apparently no one was allowed in the hospital besides people that were like his mom or something so his mom actually had to drive like an hour and whatever minutes here to go in there with him we had to drop him off at the front like this whole covid thing bro is messed up dude i, I honestly i'm tired of this COVID thing man oh, dude. like i'm not surprised somebody's not complaining like yo you're not wearing a mask outside in a parking lot some well, people do that his mom his mom came here so honestly we don't even have to be sitting here waiting for him but as good friends are we're just going to sit here and hopefully he's out here within the next you know couple minutes because we've already been out here for like freaking hour long and i'm really disappointed about it but there's one thing that did come good out of this and one thing that is going to save my ass because obviously i just beat the living crap out of this guy uh i've seen you so scared in my life yeah, dude, I'm scared. Obviously, my friend just got hit in the axe with his freaking, or hit in the leg with an axe. Obviously, I'm freaking out, but to save my ass, I don't even want to touch this thing. Ew. Bro, what is that? A meat jar or something. Why the hell did you grab that, Jake? Tommy, this is what's the only thing that's going to save my ass. If that guy's dead or... Tommy, I'll give you $20 to drink it right now. That shit better start COVID-20. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real, that's the only thing that potentially will save me, like on any cases, because whatever meat this is in here, if it's deer meat, I'm probably gonna go to jail. But if this is by any chance I mean, well, human meat or something, then it's gonna obviously drop all cases because this guy was a Jake, a to be member. fair though, dude, he literally... <clears throat> that smells uh, bad. To be fair though, dude, he literally <clears throat> came at your friend with an axe. Like, you're just doing self-defense in a way. Doesn't matter. We're on his property, bro. Think about Yet that. Yet again, it's the state of New Jersey, too, which a lot of things are kind of ass backward here. This, I took just in case, so. And by the way, can I just say thank you for grabbing my drone? I put it back in the case, so it's all safe. But I appreciate you bringing that back to me. Dude, if I open this thing, how bad do you think it smells? It already fucking reeks outside here. Don't, yeah, don't open that. Don't. No. Should I'll I actually? No. You. I'll smack you. I'll smack I really you. Open it. I'll smack you. I will. Pimp slap you. He's gonna slap you, Actually, bro. Actually, should I open it or not? No, 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 legit, no. Yo, with the five fingers say to the face, baby. Yo, no, no, you. no. Fuck it, open it. No! This thing is tight as hell, damn. Exactly, that means you should. Ew, it's wet, ew! That line right there is not. Jake, you wanna know what that means? <laughs> oh my god, it smells so bad, bro. Jake, you know what that oh. means? Oh, oh god. you smell that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bro, even open it all that legit yet. means don't open it, dude. <laughs> It didn't even open all the way yet. Oh, oh. God. Yo, oh. No, 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 Oh, dude! Ugh. Oh God, that's. I did. I just threw up from that. Oh. <laughs> Viewer discretion. Ugh. Dude, this is like that Family Guy episode where one person starts puking and everybody else starts to puke. Oh. 
I should not have opened that. Here, man, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna walk away. I'm just gonna let uh, you vlog yourself at this point. Your eyes are watering, dude. Oh, uh, dude, that was the worst smell. Ugh. I've ever smelt in my life. Someone else has to close that, bro. Ugh. That is not any other meat besides something freaking crazy. I'm gonna throw it in the woods. That smelled. Three, two, one, nose goes. Oh, my hand was already in my nose. Paul. Oh my god. Paul has to shut it. I give you all the equipment you do this to me. Paul has to shut it. <sighs> Dude, please shut that. I can't even near it. Tell you left ah, my eyes are burning too. Yeah, he, he shut it. He got it shut. Yeah, I'm staying away from that, dude. Tell me he's about to throw up now. Oh. Oh. Dude, I dead ass. Oh my god. That was absolutely disgusting. Oh my god. That's Safe hard. to say that thing is. Oh, my eyes are burning from it. What the hell is in there? It's like acid. Jesus Christ. The power crush. Oh, anyways. The power crush compels you. So I just wanted to bring the camera out and update you guys on what's going on. I picked that thing up because I just wanted to uh, get it just in case it's anything crazy. I feel like it's some sort of evidence. Obviously, my friend got hit in the leg with an axe. But he did claim it was his property, and if it is his property, that's then he it's his right to do whatever he wants to us because we were trespassing and you know opposing weird stuff. So I, I got that jar when I saw it after I beat his ass. I literally saw it, so I picked it up right afterwards, thinking hopefully by by any chance like it's some sort of evidence that I can you know show to the police so we can get this guy either arrested or you know unfortunately if I did. You know, I don't know how to say this on YouTube, but if I did kill him, uh, it'd be like a second degree murder or whatever it is. I'd be going to jail for a long time, and I'm actually really, really nervous about that. Like, I'm shaking. You know what, you know what happens to pretty boys in jail, right? Exactly. You get I am not bailed. someone to go to jail. <laughs> so I'm just praying by, you know, just in case anything bad did happen. I brought that. Yeah, you have Febreze on it? No, he's yeah. got one of my spray cans, bro. Put that back. <laughs> I need that from a keyboard and mouse. I swear to God, is the most vile thing I've ever smelled. That instantly made me throw up. My eyes are burning. <laughs> but let's put the camera away for just a little bit. I don't know how, how long it's going to take for me to get out of here. His mom's in there. Probably got to fill out a whole bunch of paperwork and stuff like that's that. Like but hopefully he's out here soon. He can give us his little scoop. Bro, you ever it seen Leopard like Dead? Those are little acid nah, puddles. Bro, that's like a pancake mix. <laughs> I'm not eating pancakes Making fun for of my throw-ups. Unbelievable. Uh, Welcome to IHOP. How many jigs have you your pancakes today? He doesn't look like he has a cast on, so. He's not gonna make it down the stairs. You see him on the camera from that far? Yeah, but I gotta zoom out, dude. It's way too shaky with this zoom. Oh, he's got a boot on, actually. Dude, you can do off the road. Hey, walk around here, walk around here. Right at the, uh, what hospital is this? I don't know. One of the ones here. Is... Uh, it's Atlanta Care. Atlanta Care. Atlanta Care Hospital, down south. I never heard of it before. So. <laughs> Yo, you look high out of your mind. <laughs> I'm feeling good, baby. I'm feeling good. Yo, well, good news is, boys, we can right, take a trip let's to. Get, let's get you back before you freaking fall on your face and die. All right, so what? So what is the doctor's news, dude? He must be on some crazy drug right now. Yeah, I'm ready to hop on uh, on a trip to Hawaii right now, baby. What they say? Is it broken? Uh, he said uh, it, it's not bad. Um, not bad. I chipped a bone, but yo, your boy got like 47 stitches though. 47? Oh, 47. Man. Jesus Christ. Dude, I, I, I wouldn't be smiling right now, but yo, these pain meds are have me feeling good right now. 47 stitches, dog? Yeah, my mom's right inside right now, though, like, handing the paperwork. I don't think she knows you guys are here, but, um, I gotta call in a little bit. I can't do that right now, though. Where's the car at? You're just rambling right now. I don't even know what the hell you're saying, Actually, but... you kind of pull it up. Want me to go get my car? Yeah, yo, Paul, grab the camera. Don't shake, bro. Uh, 47 stitches and a chipped bone, huh? How long did he say you got this thing on for? Like, two weeks. No, that's it? Two weeks, but I gotta come back and get an X-ray. It's not that far of a walk. Okay. Jeez. All right. Well, no broken bone. I guess that's the best news we got all night. He, the doctor was like, 
what happened to your pants? I said, I, 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 I blacked out for that. I don't even know what I told him. All I know, he was asking my mom what happened, but she didn't even know. What well, are you she, gonna tell him? I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I, I don't know what to tell him. Dude, you can't tell him that we're fucking doing what we did. No, we gotta figure out something. Hey, hey, let's see. Uh, oh. Is that what it's just for me? Yeah. <sighs> All right, so. Yeah, we definitely can't uh, just go out and say that. Uh, yeah, we gotta. We can't. We gotta figure something out. If we tell, if we straight up tell them. Can we? Can you and I talk real quick? Me and you? Yeah, just like a sidebar conversation, real quick. We're literally filming. Yeah, I. I <laughs> can you just come with me, real quick? We're literally in the middle of a clip. Bro, no, like I actually need to talk seriously. Come on. With the camera? Yeah, we can talk with the camera. I mean, here. Like. Yeah, on a real note, Jake, I'm done with this shit. You no. can't say this shit in front of everybody? Well, I'll tell them later. Or, you know what? Everybody come here. You, you, you guys come here. Wait a freaking goddamn second. Damn. Always, th always try to make everything about you. No, J Jake, here. Oh. If he goes to the doctors or his mom and says what happened, I'm going to jail for All second right. degree murder. Well, listen to this, Jake. Oh my god, that light is bright. I don't want to die. Did you just see what happened to him? Yeah, we he know. He could have died. He could have took that axe to his head, to his skull, and killed him. My man's already sleeping. Here, let's close the door for him. Nighty night. What I'm trying to say is, Jake, I'm done for now. Not to sound like a bitch or anything. I've warned you about this before, dude. We keep doing dumb shit. The more dumb shit we do, the higher chances of us getting hurt, like Marino, or one of us getting killed. I got a flight to Arizona in a few weeks. I got people I need to go see, and to be honest, dude, I can't keep putting my life at risk, man. All right. Like, you get it? Yeah, that's respect. Like, I'm not mad at you. I'm just I, mad I, at the I, fact I, that you turned this clip around on you. Well, <laughs> like, you could have well, just waited a second and said, well, like, later. Well, no, like, I'm obviously going to take you guys bitch, home and all, but, bitch, like, bitch, 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 listen, bitch. guy, I want to <laughs> actually live. What if that was you? Probably dead. Yeah, knowing you're lucky, you'd be dead. It's all about actually being smart. All right, I, respect. You don't gotta just. No, no I know, anymore. but like he's just sitting here calling me a bitch. It's just the truth. This is something. I already lost my shit in the woods. Yeah. And unfortunately, we didn't find his phone nor his uh his shoes. So. All right. Uh. But well, I, we gotta I got, figure. Like, on, as a real nose of friend Jake, like, I don't want him to keep getting all this. You. Yo, just up? stay in there. Yo, so can I drive your car or not? No. Okay, stop. No. But no, I don't know. Like, I don't want to sound like a dick or anything, Jake. But like. You keep doing this shit, somebody's gonna get killed. Okay. All right, like I uh, respect, I respect front, your man. decision, but right now we got some more stuff we gotta take care of other than, other than you saying you're not coming back. We get that, okay? Uh, yeah. yeah. to figure out what the hell we're gonna say or do because if. Listen, I'll tell you this you're I not mean, gonna the, go to jail. Uh, I'm friends with cops. I'll ask them. That don't mean shit. If he's dead, he's dead. It's second degree murder. But dude, I'm on think his about property. it. He almost murdered him in it a way just, that's still self defense. Does, it does not matter. We're on his property. Dude, you guys are Jake. stressing me the fuck out, though. We gotta go back. Anyway, we gotta go back regardless. We gotta go check. We gotta right, go so check. what are you saying? You should get a lawyer? You should lawyer up then? Dude. No, I'll, I'll see. I'll, I'll meet at the house, Mom, alright? We'll talk about it at the house. But my friend doesn't let me home. Yes. Mom. Honestly, I, I, I don't believe my I think you should take the phone from him. Just talk to his mom. Hey, look. Can I talk? Can I talk? Can I talk? Is she coming out here or what? Yeah, we gotta hurry up, bro. She wants to come out here and talk to you guys about what happened that day. Yeah, okay, so that's what I'm saying. Yeah, No, that's what I'm saying. If she comes out here and talks to us, we gotta have an alibi or something. That's, I feel like that's what we should leave. Alright, so we were walking in the woods. He fell. No, we were car. never in the woods. You do, you fell on a dirt bike or something. I fell on my dirt bike. Nah, how about we were in, in the sand, you know, and he fell. He hit some rocks. And that's Jeff, what. Please shut the fuck up. That's I, I, say we, I say we. Say I fell off my dirt bike, and then she says, "Where's my dirt bike at?" She didn't. She didn't check the shed ever, so I just followed to the shop. So that's a perfect alibi. And I'll just make sure I throw my dirt bike gear away. So yeah, we we came riding down south with blah blah blah. Yeah, drugged up Moreno makes more sense than regular Moreno. Yeah. Okay, dude. It's either I. It's either I. Dude, I don't know what to do. Oh my god. I have all my eggs in the basket. It's either I bring that meat 
to the cops, tell them everything that happened. I said, this is me. Uh, we, th we suspect this guy is a killer. He tried killing my friend. If that meat is nothing special and the cops don't find anything, that guy's dead. I'm going to jail for a long fucking time. And if I somehow am blessed by God and he and you know that guy really is a serial killer or cannibal or whatever the hell he is and that meat actually identifies as something illegal, I, I then I'm good. I think we should find like a uh, private like uh, investigator. In, in, yeah, that works in like the forensics or something, and like we pay him some cash or something, get that wood. Well, you got money because I don't have any. What you're saying, that test it before I go to the cops? Yeah, because honestly, if it comes out as deer meat, you will all sun, Dude, up. Sun, the sun isn't like probably two hours away from coming up. We literally have two hours to come up with something because when Why the sun's go up, and hide like, the body? Dude. Oh my god. That's, a, that's a smart idea. It sounds like a fucking movie not, or like a dead, team, then we're fine then you're fine we could just walk away from this you, you no here's the other idea have, we have let's to, go dig a hole go dig a hole and bury the body nobody's gonna find it right he's just no a guy no i've watched all like CSI guy, shows stop. just let me think for a second please. Please. no one probably knows he lives there please let me think for a second his whole fucking family lives there I have 13 siblings whatever the fuck he said in the woods in a, a building that you looks think like they're not gonna go to the cops when they find their dead dead Brother, I don't think they're smart enough there. to do that. I they know they what cops are. are acting like it's like fucking hills have eyes, like a movie. Like, please think logically for one second. Yeah, I'm thinking logically in the there. terms of self defense. No, we don't go back there. I said we go back to this. Are you still there? Fucking, oh Dude, my god, my dad's a cop. My dad's a cop. If we need help, we have help. Dude, I think Why didn't you, we just ask your dad for help when we I needed think, it I the think most? We can stop. Marino's the only one making sense right now. All of my fucking dumbass friends. Where'd the meat even go? You put it back in the car. We can get it, we can try to find someone that can test it. Bottom line, bottom line right now is if you go to the cop and the meat turns out to be deer, we're all messed up, we're all, we're all fucked. I mean, you're okay? pretty messed up, so. But I'm saying, at least if it turns out to be something else, we have, we have proof that we were in the woods and that this all happened. That way we don't get in trouble for me getting hurt because at the end of the day, we were in someone else's property. That is it. That's what I'm saying. Marino's the only one fucking understanding this and he's high as a kite. This fucking idiot saying, like, go back and hide the body. Well, if he's not there, then that means he's still alive. Dude, that, dude, I beat his face in. I'm pretty sure he's still laying there. You know Jake was a professional boxer at one point, so yeah, but... he has a deadly punch. I mean, we can test what it happens, out on you real happens, quick. What happens if we go there and he's not there? Like, what happens, what happens if we go there? We, then... we don't have to worry about anything. We just go on. I mean, yeah, the world has a bigger problem. They got to, you know... See if he's really out there, but okay. So no matter what, even if he's not there, we still gotta test this goddamn meat. If it's deer meat, we're all fucked. I'm going to jail. You guys probably get some good time too. If it's human meat, we're saviors. Let's go see if we can fucking find something out, bro. Well, I'm just gonna drop you guys off because you're going home. Yeah, I, dude. I just I can't keep being a part of this. This this is kind of getting bad, dude. So you're just going to leave when all this shit goes down? Well, Jake, I've been the one saying from the get-go, this has always been a bad idea, man. Uh, if you guys listened to me when I was listening to my gut, you wouldn't be in this situation, and he wouldn't be in that situation. That's just being truthful as a friend, dude. Dude, there's so many different turns this shit can take, bro. It's either he's dead, that's deer meat, we're all going to jail. Well, or, go tell listen, tomorrow get listen, tested. stop, please stop fucking interrupting me. I'm trying to think for a second. It's either he's dead, we're all going to jail, it's deer meat. Or he's dead, it's human meat, we're all saviors. Or he's not dead, he's a serial killer. He doesn't go to the police, we're off the hook. He's not dead, uh, he's not a serial killer, it's just deer meat. He goes to the police, I'm going to jail for assault. Dude, there's so many different turns this shit can take. Next time, next time anything like this happens, we're gonna take the right steps, be safe about it, leave our phones, keys, everything in the car so we don't lose shit again. I got lucky, I had insurance on my phone, so they sent me a new one. That's not the problem at the moment, Tommy. Yeah, but you gotta think about it. But you gotta think about it, he could be facing jail time. Dude, yeah, it's true, but- We don't know, time. we don't know shit, we don't know anybody that's gonna test this shit. We, you guys know people that live, that are in a laboratory? 
Like we gotta go on like the internet or something. Oh my god, this is a big fucking ordeal, bro. Bro. I'm going to jail. There's one simple solution. We have to go back. If there's nobody there, you don't get jail time. That's the solution I'm not doing. And there's there's no way you get in trouble. But if we go there and he's not there, then he's alive. Then there's a bigger problem. We we already took the risk and went there and had all this happen. Going but, there back one more time to check isn't gonna make a difference. Dude, the thing is, we but got. We're ready this time. The thing is, we only got fucking like two hours to figure this shit out, bro. The sun's gonna come up and. So yeah, like, well, well I mean, listen, point. I already told you, I'm not going back, but if that's what you guys wanna do. Alright, Jeff, I'll just drop, drop you us off. Drop yeah. us off. See you later. Drop us off. Yeah, not gonna yeah, fucking. Cause I do, I told you. I don't mean to be a dick, but I'm like really, yeah, no, really stressed I, I, out right I, I, now. I'd be stressed out too. I just don't want anybody else to get hurt or killed. Okay, I understand. Get us, get us out of here. Let Marina sit in the front. Let's get out of here.